Hi guys, welcome back to Learn Golf with Cassie, where Coach Dad teaches me drills. If I can do it, you can. Today we're doing a putting video to address what we need to do in our putting. So let's get into it. Okay, thanks Cassie. Today we're using for the first time her new Christmas um, putting mat. And we're going to be working on two, two foot, foot putts and eight foot putts. And we're going to work on a couple of things that we saw in the putting analysis video up there. Um, the first thing we want Cassie to do is have complete control of the club face. The second thing we want to do is to make sure that she's not hitting with the wrists and she's not hitting with the arms. And we're going to be do, working on her having the arms and the wrists set, firm and making the swing with her shoulders okay so she's going to control the club and the swing with the shoulders and then finally on the longer putts we're going to work on a uh, tempo and once we've done a few here we're going to go out onto the putting green and we're going to see her practicing on the um, proper green to see how this work takes us into actual results on the course Let's get into it. So we've set up uh, a little putting activity drill here. This is one we did about, I don't know, two years ago when Cassie first started playing golf. Uh, check the video there. So we've got a little putting station. We've got the ball. We always put a line on the ball so we can see as we putt it, the line going end on end to see if we've hit solid contact with the center of the putter. If we're hitting it centre putter, the ball will roll over head, um, over heels with the line. We'll see the line spinning. If we're hitting it with off centre, then the, the ball and the line will wobble. So we want to see if we can get that. This is going to be to this little extra putting. This is one of those ones you can have in your office, your room, anywhere. We're going to be rolling the ball straight and the goal is we're using Cassie's old putter here. Make sure that uh, the right hand is basically like the putter head facing. So put the right hand on the putter and then hold. We are going to be rocking the shoulders without moving the arms or the wrists and we rock and rock through okay if we are moving any other part then the club will hit one of the balls and we'll see that we're not staying on a, a small arc because it's such a small putt we haven't, don't have to have a, a very long backswing it's just a little rock rock through okay and we want to see the ball rolling end on end and going straight into the cup. We don't want hitting with the wrists. We don't want the arms separating from the body. We're going to feel like the arms and the torso are stuck together. Okay, let's see how Cassie does. Just so you can see the um, setup of the balls, the, um, the practice balls um, are about half, half an inch wider each side than the actual putting head and we want the putter to rock back and then through without touching any of the practice balls because this is such a short putt we're not going to have much actual uh of the club arcing forward and backwards because it's such a small putt so the arc is very shallow and we're not going to hit those balls okay so cassie's going to try hitting those balls there we're watching out for her shoulders. Okay, let's see. Good, dead straight. And one of the other things that we've told her, and it's quite useful, is to feel like you've got a little bit of a press in the right hand as you go through. <laughs> oh, I hit it. Okay, so we can see that her arms have distant connected from the the torso and the shoulder turn and that's why she hit one of the balls there. Let's see if we let's see if she can roll it end on end. Basically. 
Okay, Just it was it. wobbling as it came off, so that means she didn't hit it in the centre face. Perfect. So when we do those things correctly, the ball comes out straight. It doesn't deviate in its course. We can see that line rolling in on end. Okay, that was a little bit armsy. I, I didn't, you couldn't see that there, but you could see the ball wobbling over. So Cassie's going to do this, I don't know, for a couple of minutes every day, just to make sure that she gets the result and the stroke as she wants it. Now we're going to move to the eight foot putt, which is up a little hill into this hole here. Okay, so Cassie did a really good job on that small one. It's the same putt, it's the same philosophy, it's the same mechanics when we're going longer, but obviously the, the turn of the shoulders will extend and the arc of the putter will get a bit wider. And when we come down to this one, we want to work a little bit more on the tempo. One, two. We don't want the putter slowing down and jabbing. We don't want the putter going too fast, accelerating beyond the, the tempo because then it hits it too far. So we're going to try and do the same thing again, keeping that right hand feeling like it's pressing as it hits through. One, two. And when you see the ball roll end on end, it goes straight. One, two. That's the one we like, where the energy is going all the way through the ball to the hole. Okay, good. One, two. Now that one, your yeah, yeah. arms separated from the body, the body stopped and you jabbed it right, which we've seen a few times in the putting video. This club. Yeah, this club's a little bit open, so you need to control the club head. One, two. Oopsie. And you've done one, the other way, okay. Okay, good. And we heard that drop and I watched your shoulders and the result was perfect, well done. So it's important that the, the, the stroke is controlled with the shoulders. We can hear that drop. Shoulder through, perfect. Boom. You ready to take this on the golf course? Yeah. Okay, let's see what it looks like then. So keeping all those things in mind, we've set up a ladder drill where the first ball is about a foot and a half from the hole, second ball, three feet, third one about five feet, seven feet, nine feet, ten feet, etc. And you can see that uh, she's rocking the shoulders nicely um, and getting the feel and of the distance for the ball adding a little bit each time so the the sw the back swing and forward through swing are being s increased incrementally to brilliantly job there and now we're doing it a little bit longer two feet four feet five uh two to three feet between each ball now and let's see how she does with these ones so that's a, a good way to get the confidence at that length we see her sh shoulders rock quite nicely there and uh, she makes that one good. That one, she kind of loses the speed through the impact so it comes up short. This is a far better one. She keeps the stroke going right through the ball. And then this last one was an excellent lag putt from that distance. And if we see the results, well really they're all tappings and she got all of those in very easily. So let's go to 20 yards now and take some um, shots to see how she rolls them up at a little bit more distance and she's taking five or six balls from the same point to give her the um, practice of that distance we're seeing a little bit of uh, you know long short long short here as she finds her touch and again it's important that you get the energy through the the ball so that put press with the right hand as the body turns through just gets the ball rolling out nicely and keeps the energy toward the hole. Last one from here. Let's see how she does on this one. Okay, so we're now going to go and see if she can make the two putts with all of the balls. We're starting with the closest one. 
and then the next closest she's made those two because they were within two and three feet she's now about three half feet and she's just missing them this one i can tap that in of course she's at five feet now again a good roll but when you're getting to that five six feet thing distance you're not going to make them all so she made two out of six two putts there we're doing it again same distance 20 feet you can see she's left that first one way short so she's given it a little bit more backswing with the shoulder turn and uh, and it's gotten a lot closer and this one's perfect that's a really good um, putt you can see though that the um, the shoulders are, are turning through now and the body obviously then is looking down the line she's wanting to roll it on that's a good putt at the end here so if we look at them as a whole compared to the last set i'd say they're on average a little bit closer the great little tap in one here and they're all within two to four feet just missed that one but good stroke goes in good stroke goes in um, so she can make these three footers and even perhaps this five footer well done cassie thank you for watching this video guys i hope you enjoyed it click the thumbs up button if you liked it subscribe down below if you haven't already click the notifications bell to get an email every time we post and we post on my days and wednesdays bye